Good morning everybody, Jack here with a brand new video for you and today we're checking out the brand new Clearcomp 1078 Dynamic Threshold Compressor by DSM and Humboldt Electronics. DSM and Humboldt Electronics is a company that makes pedals by hand in Chile and you probably already know them for their simplifier and simplifier deluxe which are amp and cab simulators crazy famous all over the world. I've reached out to them for some content creation purposes and they were kind enough to sponsor today's video by sending over their brand new Clearcom 1078. But first, what is the Clearcom 1078? The Clearcom 1078 is a compressor created to honor the old good and legendary studio compressors that have made history but with an all new circuit and approach to compression. Let's dive right into the controls of the new Clearcom 1078. I will explain what each control does in a really simple way with easy words otherwise this video could go on for hours and hours. So as you can easily see, we have two big knobs up here. One is called level and controls the overall volume of the pedal itself. And the other one is called compression, which controls of course the amount of compression you are sending to your signal. Then moving just below the compression knob, we have the ratio knob, which in easy words lets you choose how hard you want that compression to hit your signal. So basically the higher you set it, the harder it's hitting the signal. Looking to the other side of the pedal, we have a blend knob, which basically lets you choose how much of the wet and dry mix you want to hear in your signal. Looking down, we have two more controls. One is called attack and the other one is called release. So the attack lets you choose how fast you want that compression to kick in when you're playing and the release controls for how long it will last until it goes off. And finally, looking right in the middle, we can see the key features of this pedal. One is the threshold switch that replaces the classic knob and gives you the possibility to dynamically adjust your threshold based on the instrument you are playing. So basically it has three positions, low, high and mid. If you're playing a vintage single coil strat or any kind of guitar with really low output pickups, you want to set your threshold to low. If you're using uh, active pickups or really high output pickups, you want to set your threshold to high. And then if you're playing any kind of other guitar with medium output pickups, which is what most of the guitars mount these days, you want to set your threshold to mid. And just above the threshold switch up here, we can see we have a five stage LED bar graph really helpful to visualize the envelope level in real time. It's built to be one of the most, if not the most silent compressor out there and it features through bypass switching, side mounted jacks as you can see and it can take both 9 and 18 volts of power depending on your headroom and compression needs. For today I've chose four different settings on this pedal that will for sure be more than helpful and will cover many different situations. So let's go and hear some tones.
back guys so i really hope you found this video helpful and i would also like to congratulate the guys at dsm and humboldt electronics for the release of this super useful very very easy to use and reliable pedal and of course thanks a lot dsm and humboldt electronics for trusting me and supporting my work and i also really suggest you to find the nearest dealer to you and try one out for yourself because trust me it will be worth it if you've liked this pedal all the links are down in the description if you want to visit the dsm and humboldt electronics social media pages and also their website in the description you will also find their youtube channel so please go show them some love and subscribe and if you are new here and you've liked what you've seen and what you've heard, please consider subscribing to my channel too. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about today's video and what's your favorite use for compressor pedals. A huge thank you goes of course again to the guys at DSM and Humboldt Electronics for being super supportive and for letting me work with such a great pedal. And of course thanks a lot to you two guys for watching today's video. I really hope to see you in the next one. I've been Jack, you've been great and ciao!